wording, I am feeling slightly worse for wear. Not as worse for wear as my husband. How you doing, babe? Uh, uh, questionable. Questionable. Yeah, at best. I think we're both feeling a little bit ropey this morning. My head is banging. I blame the tequila shots, mm. which is basically Ryan's fault. We had the best time yesterday. It was so good. I'm sad. I actually think I may now be one of those people that goes into like a period of sadness. It was just the best day, best day of my life. I'm so glad I can say that because it was so stressful organizing it. I'm like, yes, it was amazing. I loved it so much and everyone else had the best time as well, which makes me so happy. A lot of people loved our UK wedding. And I was like, if you don't love this Ibiza one more, I'm going to be pissed. It was so good, it was so good. Also, I just dropped water down myself. Please ignore the state of me. But I am getting ready for our beach day in Ibiza. It's kind of like a recovery beach day where we can all just lie in the sun and be a bit hungover because basically we're not staying in the same hotel. So we've picked this beach that's basically next to our hotel so that everyone can just chill together and it'll just be really, really nice. So yeah, it's like a recovery beach day, but also like a bit of a goodbye moment as well because so many people are flying home this evening. And then we're basically on to our mini moon, which will be so fun. Yeah, I'm just putting on some makeup because I, I need it this morning. I really need it. I also just went for breakfast with Vic and Alex and, oh, please hold the door. Good morning. I was like, this is definitely Ryan's. None of the other boys put good heel <laughs> shit on their face. So I was like, I'll bring that back in case you need some skincare this morning. This hotel, I'm going to leave them a lovely review because they have They are great. Above and beyond. And then he was doing this thing where he was like swinging his leg. <laughs> and then the thing that killed me the most at the end is the whole dance floor is watching. And then your mum was like, get over there. <laughs> and she like shouted at him and all the girls' faces, I could see them all, they were like, his mum's telling him off. Funny, oh my god, oh my Dale god. was obsessed with your uncle. He was like his robot. Oh, so <laughs> he was talking about it again this morning. He was like, it was so good. And Vic was so funny when Alex got down into that one. She was like, I didn't know he could do that. Oh my god, I didn't know Alex could do the worm. It was so good. <laughs> oh, she was that so was so funny. funny. <laughs> So, so funny. I have no regrets on us doing that DJ set. That was honestly amazing. It's one of my so favorite good. parts of the day. I think it was one of ours too. It was that, like, lots of people yeah. said that. I was like, oh, that's really cute. It was so fun. Makes it worth it. Worth yeah. all the stress Ryan went into for it because I actually yeah. had nothing to do with it apart from creatively directing a few bits. <laughs> I can't believe how ready you guys look. What time are you guys going there? One ish. Okay. I think some people are going to be ready earlier. So, yeah. I just okay, wanted fun. to start like getting yeah. nice. ready yeah. and be prompt and on yeah. time because that's the theme of this yeah look that's at us yesterday on we time, so time to spare, time to spare. <laughs> and someone asked me they were like so did you really need to wake up at six and i was like well yeah yes otherwise we wouldn't have had time to spare like yeah like, i didn't have to say yeah. to anyone once yeah. you need to hurry. like everyone yeah. it was like no babe you've got time to do that no yeah. you absolutely you've yeah. got time and it was so nice it and was so, so chill. nice my only big stress is i broke my nail so sad. Sorry, got interrupted mid get ready with me, but this is my look for today. There's my husband. This is my look for our goodbye recovery beach day. I am really sad that we're already kind of saying goodbye to people, but yeah, this is my outfit. I've had this swimsuit from ASOS since January. I saw it and I was like, yep, it's super bridal. I have to have that. And then I've just got a pair of linen trousers to go with my Colt Gaia Raffia clutch. Aurelia vintage earrings because I'm just milking the bridal elements for as long as I can this weekend because why not and then I've got my t-bar necklace from my Aurelia collection my Miu Miu sunnies I really like the way the kind of yellowy transparent tone of this like matches the rest of the outfit it's just it's really cute and then I've got my YSL tribute sandals oh I need to put my my wedding ring on so I'm gonna do that and we will head down. Beach day. Oh, wow. So cute. I'm trying not to die on these steps. Have my emotional support water. <laughs> yeah, well, the girlies yeah. are trying to plan a Vancouver so road trip. I'm scared. What have I signed myself up for? <laughs> this is the beach next to the hotel. So nice. One of our favorite restaurants is actually up over the hill. Just nice, a nice little spot to chill and we can meet everyone. It's a really cool shape, isn't it? Stealing Victoria's sunglasses. Oh, I really like them. Okay. Birthday present to myself. Yeah. <laughs> I am going to look at the airport. There's also a pair of Miu Miu tortoise 
nice little oh. ovals that I want as well. So damage will be done at the airport on the way back. We can do that together. Alana is having an espresso, well, an Americano and a coffee uh, and a coke. I can't. I like to feel things. Yeah, you really. Yeah, you like to feel your heartbeat out of your chest. <laughs> Stunning. It hurts sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> if I ever pass away, you know what happened. Alana had a heart attack, <laughs> age 30. Are you even 30 yet? Oh, are you? I was like, for some reason, I was like, she's gonna be like 28. Love that. Useful. Meanwhile, me and my coke, I'm gonna be bouncing off the walls after having this. This is the most caffeine I've had in a long time. <laughs> Fanta, oh my god, these little green trunks are so cute. These two are yapping and plotting our next road trip. This is my outfit of the evening for dinner. Hi, by the way, it's been a long time since I last saw you. I had a very long bath and I've just been chilling out. So today's get ready with me is a very, very quick one. So the makeup's looking a little bit ropey. It's a very light touch up of this morning's makeup. I'm wearing a favorite combo of mine. This is a mango top. It's like a ribbed knit top that has a twist at the front and it's in this gorgeous like lovely cream color and then i've got these gorgeous cream trousers which are also from mango i love these they have a side zip so they're just very like flattering and they just fall really nicely like there's no zip on the front making it super bulky i've got my ibiza clutch because i literally bought two clutches out here one for day one for night one's my raffia clutch which i just didn't think went with an evening outfit and then for comfort because my feet are now broken i've actually got these YSL tribute sandals on in the teddy fabric they go really nicely with this outfit and that's all i really wanted to wear right now i have my perspex chanel's which would look really cool with this actually to be honest i might need to i'm worried that these are hanging a bit too low they're sitting a little bit lower on my hips today because for once i'm not super bloated so actually i might need to put my perspex sandals on because they're kind of dragging on the floor a little bit okay here we go oh, pray for me i'm also going to take my cream pepper mayo bomber jacket because i'm scared about me chilly so i'm gonna take that with me it matches these trousers and the top really well i found that out on the yacht trip so i'm gonna wear these these shoes pray for my feet i'm sure they'll be okay we're not gonna be walking around we've kind of we were gonna walk around old town we're going for dinner in old town but we've missed all the daylight so i'm not sure if that will actually happen and i'm kind of starting to get a bit peckish so we might just go straight for food oh my jewelry is from swavsky which is a new one for me I don't normally buy a ton of jewellery from there. This I actually bought for the wedding. I was meant to wear this as part of my evening outfit last night and completely forgot it. Left it in the hotel room, but it's fine. We move. It's actually so nice with this outfit because it kind of glams it up a little bit, but it's so sparkly. Like, it's really, really beautiful, so I will link this if you are interested. They also do a version of this where it comes down here, and I nearly bought that to wear for the wedding, but I thought this was a bit more wearable outside of the wedding it's really cute and these hoops you can also take the dangly bit off so they're just like that as well and super simple and sparkly and i love that yeah so i will link everything in the info box as per can you tell my voice is still i still have tequila voice <laughs> anyway on that note let's go get some more <laughs> fries 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 mayo 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 Oh my god, you guys, this is a pistachio cheesecake. Pistachio is like my favorite flavor ever. And you never find pistachio ice cream or pistachio cheesecake. Maybe I'm doing it too nicely. Maybe I just need to like roll on it. I did actually bring a different size vacuum bag. This could work. A little baby. <laughs> wow. Oh! It's working. <laughs> wow, it's tiny. Oh. When do I stop? Just keep going until it's the size of a marshmallow. 
There you go, easy. Should have done that on the way out. That does look a little bit suspicious going through an airport. Yeah, do you think looks that like... would be problematic when? We'll find out. I mean, that's a clear bag, isn't it? it was the other one wasn't clear on the way out, was it? Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Be fine. We have a change of scenery. We actually are now in the Six Senses Ibiza, which is the most incredible place ever. I love the TRS quite passionately and I really, I was a bit scared to come here because I was like, oh, am I just gonna miss my usual hotel? Like, I really, really love it there. This place is stunning. Like, even the robes, this is a hotel robe. This is a hotel robe. <laughs> so pretty i want to take it home so we are checking in here for a couple of nights just a couple we're having a little mini moon and it's just the perfect place i actually got a little bit of footage earlier when it was daylight before we completely ransacked the place because you know we love to jump on the beds here the room is stunning we booked a something like a sea view junior suite i personally vibe with a junior suite it seems to be my go-to <laughs> in literally every single hotel and these ones i really gravitate towards because they have a like almost a private garden area but also a terrace and then also a ginormous gorgeous bathroom with a rolling top bathtub thingy situation his and hers sinks like it's huge and it's got this incredible like honeycomb texture separating the bathroom and the bedroom it's just honestly beautiful yes yeah, so we are gonna spend a couple of days here i don't normally spend that much time in the north of the island so it's a really nice little switcheroo for me by the way i've spent so long with alana that i hesitate now when i go to say ibiza because i want to say ibiza and i'm now confused as to how i want to say it because i kind of like ibiza a little bit better but it just sounds weird when you're british because no one from the uk says it like that but anyway very nice to be having a little change of scenery because you know i stay in the same place every time i come here and i love it I really love it. Yeah, it's nice to switch it up a little bit sometimes. And it's a special occasion, so if not now, it's never. So we actually just watched the sunset. It was so pretty, so pretty. So we got the most insane, insane wedding photos. Like Ryan actually said earlier, he was like, I can't believe these are our wedding photos. When you have a moment like that, it just makes all the plotting. And honestly, the spreadsheets, the spreadsheets that I gave to our photographer, photographers, worthwhile because they got in-depth, detailed spreadsheets. I was absolutely psychotic with them. And obviously, because we had two weddings, I did it twice. Sometimes it being a little bit of a psycho pays off. But yeah, I actually can't remember if I caught up with you on the wedding. I feel like I have so much to say and I'll never just remember everything I have to say all at once. So I might have to drip feed you my thoughts, but it was just the best day of the team absolutely smashed it all of the suppliers for the venue absolutely smashed it it was a gorgeous gorgeous day ryan has only just stopped eating all of the donuts from <laughs> from uh we didn't have cake we had vegan donuts instead with vegan glazing our venue owner is a chef i've told you guys i feel like so many times now but she is just incredible and she made us vegan donuts with vegan glazing we didn't tell anyone that most of the food at the venue was vegan Nobody knew, not even my dad. My dad was raving about how good the food was. And then earlier this morning, I was like, <laughs> yeah, most of that. Most of that was vegan, aside from like three dishes, which were very clearly meat. I'll probably do a Q and A soon so that you can like actually pick my brain. Because like I said, I'll just keep yapping on and saying so much, but so little at the same time. It was the best day, it was the best day. I nearly cried earlier when we were leaving the TRS hotel. We had to say, that we only had my mum, my dad, and then Ryan's brother and Ryan's brother's wife to say goodbye to you, but I kind of I kind of already knew that saying goodbye to people was gonna push me over the edge after the hen because when everyone started leaving all at the same time after my hen, I like was just in tears. Full, full tears. And as we said goodbye to everyone, we walked into the lobby, I started like kind of welling up and managed to like pull it back together. But there was a brief moment where I was like, if I fully let myself right now, I'm I'm going to sob because I hate saying goodbye to people. Leaving that hotel was like, oh, okay, our wedding is like over. And I'm a little bit sad about that, but also very excited because I'm so excited to be here and have a few days to just fully chill and then, and I feel like we just really deserve this. So I'm getting ready 
for our first dinner here now there's a restaurant in the hotel called the orchard and it's like kind of italian food i'm very up for that tonight we went to the standard hotel last night there's a restaurant there called it's in old town called Yara. It's the best. I had the pistachio cheesecake. And also, oh my god, you guys, this could be a pure coincidence, but when you think about all of the tiny details in what I'm about to tell you, is it a coincidence? I'm not sure. But if the girl that I am about to talk about is watching this video, you looked amazing and all your friends looked amazing, but a girl walked in to the standard hotel in Yara in Ibiza Old Town, where I went to this restaurant and I wore the Rat and Boa leopard print dress which by the way i'm gonna wear tonight in celebration of this moment a girl walked into the same restaurant in the same country in the same dress that i had worn on my hen with all of her friends and i think her friends were all wearing black as well and it was literally i will show you the photo in the same country the same restaurant same dress same vibes and i was like is this a coincidence i am not sure but if this is what i think it is and this is a recreation of this photo i my life is made and i wanted to tell all those girls they looked amazing even if they have never seen that photo in their lives i want to tell them all that they look amazing because i loved it mascara lip product bronzer and we are good to go by the way you guys when you stay here everything is like on the app there's a six senses app you can like put in your room code and everything is synced so apparently my door unlocks like i could just walk up to the door and if my phone is on me the door will unlock I can turn the temperature down. I can change the lights. I like, I don't know. I was just telling the girls about this and I was like, I wonder if they're like, that is so normal, Suze, or if I'm just like wowed by it. I think, I think that's amazing. And I can talk to the team, the Six Senses team on it. So they have just confirmed my reservation at the Orchard restaurant at 8 p.m. Oh my God. Thank you, Elena. By the way, this bronzer, this Lancome bronzer has been my go-to on this trip. It's very warm. I've got the shade four. Maybe slightly too warm, but I start at my hairline, make sure the excess is like on the outer part of my face and then blend it all in using this giant Bobbi Brown brush. And it gives the nicest face bronze. Like it's so flattering. I have been using this for quite a while now. It's incredible. Also, I have to give a shout out to my glam team. Once again, I love them. I've messaged Bria so many times, but my makeup on my wedding day on our wedding day looked sensational everyone all the girls were like your makeup looks incredible and i was like yeah i know <laughs> it looks so good it looks so good in all the photos it looked so good in real life it lasted so well they were so sweet as well and came and did me a weird mid um, a weird a mid wedding top up which was very needed because i kissed ryan after the ceremony and fully just like wiped my <laughs> i fully just wiped my nose contour all over him because there was so much nose contour on my face we really me and Bria really we went for it i'm just gonna pull these bits out and i'm gonna leave my hair for this evening i think like i said i'm wearing my rat and boa leopard print dress i haven't worn it with her up so i might stick with this what do you think i feel like there's something with <gasps> mascara i'm missing mascara that's when you know the rest of the makeup is good though when you forget to put on mascara okay that is so much better a little bit of powder i got a little bit distracted filming a tiktok for this outfit but this is my outfit of the evening we are ready for dinner i have some focaccia on the menu i'm so excited to go and eat some food so i am wearing my rat and boa sheer leopard print dress i've got my cult gaia raffia clutch it gives a little bit of a different vibe to the last time i wore this where i wore my spicy margarita bag it was much more like city vibes whereas this is really nice for for ibiza and for where we're at at the moment and where we're staying and then i've just got my chanel sandals on because this dress is nice and long and i didn't really want to wear a heel so these are perfect. They've got a little bit of a heel. It keeps my dress from being like too on the floor. It just kind of skims, which is really nice. And my feet aren't uncomfortable, which is amazing. And then I've got my vintage earrings in from Aurelia. And then a couple of bracelets from Lisa Goslan. These are the earrings and the bracelets. I love these bracelets so much. I got them for my birthday. They're the best. They're so cute. This is my outfit of the evening let's go for dinner good morning everybody we've had a nice little sleep and we are up and ready for the gym on our honeymoon who are we we're actually going to the gym then breakfast then spa which i think will be really nice so i've got my cute little six senses tote my bikini and stuff in and we are ready to go by the way oh my god i need to give you a quick really really fast 
room tour because oh, it's so cool. This is our bathroom when you come in. Hey babe, this is the bathroom when you come in. It's a little bit of a mess because we're living in it, but really, really gorgeous. Huge bathtub, toilet shower down here. Nice big mirror, huge floor to ceiling. And then <laughs> this is the bedroom area. I'm obsessed with this. It reminds me of honeycomb. So cool. And then you have our outdoor area. It's a bit cloudy this morning, which is why we're doing gym and spa now because it's meant to get really sunny and really hot in about an hour. So we get to spend all day on that little bed or in the pool. I think it's gonna be a really nice day. Fingers crossed. Let's go to the gym. Oh my God, we've just left our room and it's so warm. I didn't realize how cold I have made the air con. I've been walking around in there in a dressing gown thinking I needed a jumper today because it's cloudy outside and it was cold. No, just set the temperature to 19 degrees. So it's about the same temperature as it is in our house at home. This one? Mm, thank you. Mm. Good morning world. Look at that. View. I need to put my contacts in today because I bet it's even better if you have 20-20 vision. It reminds me of Lake Como. I don't know if I'm right, I've never been, but just the little railings and stuff, it reminds me of Lake Como. Yeah, stunning. It's so green here. Like when we were driving up here, I forgot how like green Ibiza can be. We're so used to the west where it's not as fresh. Stunning. They also have doctors here that you can make an appointment with and they'll tell you like, do tests on you and tell you like things that you need to be healthier. That blows my mind. It's like, these are things you could be eating more of or taking more of to, because you're low in this. And I was like, what in the fresh hell? This is insane. This is what I was talking about guys, they do a wellness screening, insane. Also, I rate gyms that have snacks, like how good is that? My mum's always trying to force feed me these, good for you if you're iron deficient apparently. Such a nice gym. Let's go! Wow, the view from breakfast, stunning. Oh my god you guys, we have juices, this is so cool. Pink moon. Oh, that sounds amazing. Wow. And they'll make you like any juices that you want if you have something specific. I love it. It's so cool. I think I'm going to need this one after this trip. Oh my god, you guys. They have matcha. I repeat, they have wow, ice cinnamon oat latte. Incredible. A matcha with oat milk? Yes, yes, we need to do this. Oh my god, this is so fun. Wow. Oh my god. So fun. Oh my god, a turmeric latte. This is amazing. Mm, it's not bad. It's got a little kick or something. It's very creamy. It's my husband. What have you found? Wow. That looks insane. Oh my god, gluten free carrot cake. Wow, we need to bring Amelia here. She would be dining like a queen. Look at this, you guys. It's so cool. Croissants, <gasps> cinnamon rolls, get out. Oh my god, cool chocolate. Breakfast cookies, what the hell is a breakfast yeah. cookie? And why haven't I had one before? <gasps> oh my god, that looks sensational. This is unreal. This might be the best breakfast bar I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Good. This is my acai bowl. I just ordered this straight from the kitchen, made with coconut yogurt. So yummy. You've got pea avocado toast. No, it's avocado, gonna be. Well, it's basically avocado toast, but made with peas instead. Yeah. Interesting. Taste mm. Good. Okay, I have the green chia seed porridge. I'm gonna give this a go. It's actually quite nice. Looks like it belongs under the sea, but... It's a weird texture, isn't it? Like, like mm. I always find chia seeds to be like a weird texture. It feels like you're eating some kind of fish egg. Got some flu fighter shots, which I think is essential after the wedding. Cheers. Is it okay? Definitely ginger in there. <laughs> I love shots with ginger in them. Will I after this? Let's see. Thank you. Oh, that's so good. I could fill a cup with that, a full. 
I love ginger. It's so you like it? I love the mouth burn. Right, let's go to the spa. Mm. No, they're crazy, aren't they? I feel like I'm in Lord of the Rings. Oh, it's so beautiful. Biohacking zone. Cold plunge in there. Oh, this place is crazy. Vic and Amelia would love to come here. This would be epic for a girls' trip. This is so crazy. Mm, it smells amazing in here. Right, let's go get some sun. That was such a gorgeous spa. I honestly cannot recommend more if you are staying here or nearby. Oh, literally the dream. I actually really enjoyed the infrared sauna. It's so nice. Also, how stunning are the changing rooms? Like, it just keeps going. It's stunning the whole way through. And there's literally no one here. I very much recommend coming here in October. Right, let's go. Back in the room. I think I'm gonna be here for a little while. It's like my perfect sunny spot. Good evening everybody, we are getting ready for dinner. This is possibly the fastest I've ever got ready in my life. This will be a blow dry and a face of makeup in half an hour, which I don't think has literally ever happened in the history of my existence. It proves that you can sort of just about do it. So well, we know now for the future. Well, no, because the, see the thing is here guys, I have not put skincare on. I just put foundation on raw. Like, there is nothing hydrating me underneath. Thank God for Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin because that shit is hydrating. We're only gonna be out at dinner for a little while, to be honest, we're both very tired. So I thought, you know what? We don't need to put the expensive skincare on to take it all off and redo it again in less than two hours. That is not necessary. So. Yeah, I have just put foundation on my bare face after showering, which is not something I plan on doing again. So when you say we know for next time, we know nothing. This evening's outfit is nowhere near as big a sleigh as last night's, but it's very chilly in the evenings. And last night I could have done, it was fine, but I could have done with a blanket and I would have been quite a happy gal. So this evening I decided to go for this dress because it has long sleeves. So I'm just hoping for the best, but to be honest, I feel like we're going for dinner a bit later anyway. So I'm maybe still gonna be cold. I really wanted to wear my white Magda Bertram dress, but I just think I'm gonna be too cold. Okay, do you know what? Bronzer, this bronzer really does the most. I feel like I shouldn't do more. I think that could be a mistake. Maybe mascara. Okay, I think this is as good as we are getting today. Can I get a time check? 33 past eight. Okay, that was 33 minutes. Well done me. Okay, let's go. Outfit of the evening, we have my Realization Part dress and my Colt Gaia Raffia clutch. This is basically the same, all the same as last night, except swap the dress out, the Rambo one for the Realization Part one, but it's so cute. And then I've got my olive green Odd Muse earrings in. Yeah, I love this dress, it's so cool. I have to take this with me to the wedding that we're going to next week. Yeah, let's go for dinner. Uh, this is just in, I forgot to vlog any of my dinner. But just know that it was the same as last night because we are creatures of habit. And we were also really busy posting our wedding photos so we didn't really concentrate on what we were doing. So exactly the same meal as last night except I had a melon lemonade, which is stunning. I'm sitting inside tonight, so I'm not freezing my bum off. It's nice, isn't it? It's so pretty in here. What are you looking at? Are you looking at our wedding photos? <laughs> it's fun posting wedding photos. I wish everyone like enjoyed all the content at the same level. They like wedding photos. Good morning. We are on our way to breakfast today. I think it's gonna feel. Oh, look at that view. Oh, I don't want to leave. Today is going to feel a little bit like Groundhog Day because we're essentially doing all the same stuff we did yesterday because we go home and because it's cloudy. So we are going to be spending a lot of time, I think, in the spa and the gym today before we go home. We are heading to breakfast right now, which will probably be a repeat of yesterday's breakfast knowing us because we are creatures of habit. So maybe we should try and do something different today. I don't know what, don't know what that will I don't know what that will be. Pick each other's breakfast. Pick each other's breakfasts. 
Mmm, I don't think you'd like what I would pick for you. Oh my god, look, this is the route up to breakfast. I just love all the plants, it's so nice. If I picked your breakfast, you wouldn't be happy, you'd be having a brownie. You have to try and pick what you think I would like. <laughs> my it's friend. It's a test, it's a test of our knowledge about each other. Oh so god. We could pick. I would the right thing. pick you, get pizza. some toast. <laughs> they don't do pizza at the buffet. I would get some toast, some avocados, some tomatoes, put some olive oil on the tomatoes, black pepper. Yeah, great. Yeah. See. One more. What would you get for me? A side bowl of coconut yogurt. We just Matcha. literally <laughs> just went for what each of us had yesterday. Yeah, if I wasn't doing that, then it would be a plate of bacon. A plate of bacon. A plate and matcha. So pretty. Last breakfast. I'm ready. Yeah, Let's I'm going to be stocking up. Yeah, see how much we can eat. Thank you. As well. Oh, how do you? Also, I have just been watching back the footage, like the draft footage from our wedding vlog, and I have to say, when I eat in real life, it's nowhere near as annoying as I understand that it might be when you're watching that vlog and you're watching all of the E's back to back. Yeah, it's not annoying. <laughs> But it's nowhere near as annoying as I understand that it might be when you're subjected to it for 43 minutes solidly. Sorry about that. It's now become a thing that I do because it's the only way that I can let my excitement out. I have no other way of showing emotion. I'm so sorry. I have no range. I went a bit overboard at the buffet, seeing as it's our last day. I just couldn't, like how can you not want to try a breakfast cookie? Like what is a breakfast cookie? I don't know, but I want to try it. Any good? Really nice, really crunchy. Tastes healthy. <laughs> no. So good. We are all packed up and I am back in my happy place. We've got a late checkout, so I'm just gonna sit here until we go to the gym and the spa. I wondered where my husband had gone. And I came over here and looked out at the sea. And there he is. Can we even see him? There he is. Look at him. <laughs> Loving life. Crazy, crazy man. This kombucha is brewed in Ibiza, babe. That's so cool. Pass them to me. Thank you. Oh my God, those fries look amazing though. Yeah, load me up. What's mine is yours, honey. And what's yours is most definitely also mine. Thank you. <laughs> oh, stunning. Bye. We are on our way to the airport now. I have very sadly said goodbye to the six senses. I really didn't want to leave this afternoon. In the space of like the last hour and a half have been sunbathing. I then went to the gym. I did a run. I did a walk. I did my abs workout. Saunered, cold showered, feeling fresh, feeling very clean. Those, by the way, they use their own little cute reusable bottles in that hotel, but I, I know the smell of Diptyque Figurette, Figurette, is that what it is? The Diptyque Shower Gel. I know the smell of that anywhere, so I feel lovely. And yeah, now we're on our way to the airport. I'm feeling, this is the most stern I've ever felt before going to the airport. I'm very excited to potentially have a little airport snack. Excited to look at the sunglasses, which is a ritual of mine. Not so excited to be going home, if I'm honest. You're feeling a bit homesick though, aren't you? Yeah, I'm ready to see shrimpy, I think. It's missing the shrimp. <laughs> we have another adventure, literally, within the next 24 hours, so we're not gonna see her anytime soon, sadly. We'll see her tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow we might pop in and see her, just to remind her we exist. Anyway, let's get our 5,000 cases to the airport. <laughs> Ryan had an issue with his t-shirt, he had to change it, and now he hates his outfit. <laughs> I've never seen his airport so empty. October Ibiza is, is weird, I'm not used to it. The airport doesn't look familiar to me without hordes of people. And it's time to switch over my shoes. Holiday officially over. 